Welcome back to Bishop's Garage. Today we're going to be working on our 65 Mustang, about well, 66 Mustang. Uh, the Mustangs from 65 through 68 are about the same. We're going to be taking off the windshield. I've already taken the windshield wipers off. Uh, I'll show you how that works here in just a second. You can see we have some damage. Uh, I believe this is probably the original windshield that came with it. We're going to go ahead and start at the side here and pull this trim off. And then uh, we'll see how that works. Just going to use a piece of wood here to kind of pry this up or, or use it as a, some leverage. Of course, it's going to be a little difficult here. Okay, that's how those pop off. We'll pop off the other side and then we'll get to removing the windshield.
this up, get all of this old caulking out of here, old sealant, and we will get some new clips. I'll show you how those go on, and then we'll tend to the new windshield. <laughs> Check this out. See if you can see that. Kenmore Drive-In Theater, Kenmore, Washington, was stuck under here, stuck under the, uh, the old seal. Wow, that has probably not existed. Let's see if we can get that to focus again. That has probably not existed in forever. I'll try to put some information down there. All right, windshield is removed. Let's go ahead and take a look here. You can kind of see what it looks like now. You can actually see the original bullet green paint color there, which we would like to return the car to. I've removed the old speaker. I also removed the grill thingy here because I'm going to go ahead and paint that and clean it because it's a pain in the butt to try to do when it's in the car. This is so much easier to handle now. So now let's get all this old caulking out of here and get some new clips in and I'll show you what that looks like now. Welcome to Bishop's Garage. Today we're going to be installing the windshield on our 1966 uh, Mustang Coupe. You can see the big empty spot here that will soon be uh, filled with that windshield. So in order to do this project, we're going to be needing a few things. We have new clips. We have our garbage can for stuff. We're going to be cleaning the uh, old rubber gasket grouting out of this area. We have our new uh, windshield gasket. String or paracord rope to go around the gasket, make it easier to install. We have some uh, caulking gun as well as our sealant. All right, so uh, despite all the noise from people mowing in the area, let's go ahead and get to this. Now, as I'm taking this old sealer off, you'll notice that the, the pins I mentioned earlier, the small studs, like this one right here, is where the new clips will go on. Once I get all of this old sealer off of here, I'm going to come through with Mineral Spirits, clean this all off. And if there's anything that needs a little bit of sanding and tending to, I'll, I'll steel wool this stuff and add a little bit of primer just to seal it up.
I saw someone complain on here that the the clips weren't the right size. These are the brand new repopped clips and the old clip. You can see they are the same size. I'm going to go around the window. I'm going to primer and paint this area because at some point in the future when we do get this painted, I won't be able to get back in here. So I at least want to get some paint in here to kind of preserve it. So we have our new clips. You can kind of see there's an angle here. This is the, this is how they would slide on. So the pin would go like this. So because this is up high, that means there's a preload on here to keep it pretty firm. Um, I've seen a number of places that say to take a little bit of that preload off. So I'm going to take this and just bend it slightly take some of the preload off to make installation a little easier. Maybe there is the secret. So I'm taking these, bending them just a little, and then I'm hitting right here on this inside portion.
Okay, so that seems to be it. So, 